Hi guys, how are you? You guys are probably like, who is she? I haven't seen her in forever. I just wanted to come on here and say hey. I'm sorry I haven't posted. I've had a lot on my mind. Um, I have a family member in the hospital. With She had a stroke. And she has aphasia, which she can't talk. She can talk. She can make out parts of sentences and words, but a lot of it don't come out right. And I came on here today to get help from you guys. Because you guys are always so kind and just so welcoming and to give me advice. And um she gets to come home in a few days. She's in rehab right now. She gets to come home in a few days. Um, I won't be here when she gets here. I will be in Costa Rica and that breaks my heart. But um, if you guys know of anybody with aphasia that can't make out words, what do you guys do? to help them. I heard music helps. I heard um, flashcards. I've already bought her flashcards and stuff because I, whenever I get back, I'm going to be the person there all the time until she kicks me out of her house. But I bought flashcards for her. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and really help her. I already talked to nurses to see if we can get nurses to go over there so many times a week. But it just breaks my heart. And you guys, stuff happens for a reason, okay? I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? Me and my aunt have not talked for two years. And... She called me not too long ago and she asked me to go clean her stove because nobody else would. And I kept on putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because people said that she was just going to accuse me of stealing stuff. So I put it off. And then Sunday the 19th I got a call. I live eight minutes from the town that she lives in. So I got a call saying, hey, can you go to the hospital where she fell? So I dropped everything and I was there. I have family that lives two blocks from the hospital. Couldn't be there. But I was there. And I didn't leave her side. And we took her home, and the next day I went and I cleaned her house, and we talked, and it's like those two years that we weren't together, it, it's like it didn't exist. We were, we were happy. And then the next day, I was going to Lamar to go get me a rotisserie chicken. And I called to see if she needed anything. And her neighbor said that she was outside really confused and it was cold, it was very cold. And I was right there. I was 65 miles per hour down Main Street just so I could get to her. And that's when all the hell started. But my point, I need to take my own advice, is don't give up on family when they ask you for help, be there, whether you talk to them on a normal basis or not, because she has nobody, you know? 
And if I wouldn't have listened to those people say she'll accuse you of stealing, I would have been there sooner to clean her oven for her like she asked me. And it sucks because I feel so bad. But I'm here now and I'm not leaving until she tells me to leave, which I hope she don't ever tell me to leave. But. Just let people know around you that you love them, guys, okay? Because in an instant, something can happen and they could either be gone or they can't talk. They might not remember you. I've lost all of my sisters in this process. They all hate me. But I really don't care. All I care about is my aunt and her getting better. But I just thought I'd come on here and let you guys know a little bit on what's going on. I probably won't video no more until we get to leaving to Costa Rica. Because I'm, I'm too emotional. I cannot make a video without crying. It's lots of stress. Lots of stress. And I also have a family to take care of. And then drama every day. But that's what's going on with me, guys. So, please call somebody right now that you guys haven't talked to in a while and just say, I know you guys might not want to hear from me, but I just want you guys to know that I love you and I'm thinking of you. It only takes one second to for there to be a tragedy and you not be able to that person not know that you love them. And that's what breaks my heart. But um so the next vlog will be me on the plane. What do you guys think of that? Maybe I'll do the leggings try on hauls before then. I don't know. She's getting, my aunt's getting better. Slowly but surely it just takes time. But if you guys know of somebody that ha suffers with aphasia, Please get in contact with me somehow on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, I'm on some sites on Facebook that help with people that are dealing with a person that has aphasia or um, people that are dealing with aphasia or anything to do with the stroke like paralysis or vision or anything and that site has actually really helped me it gave me the idea of the flashcards and it gave me the idea of the music one doctor did come in and she said if you get her to sing her words will come out better so she's like, how about we try singing happy birthday? And she sang happy birthday when she could not say one word. Right after they took the clot out, she sang happy birthday. And she sang happy birthday to Mickey Mouse. So I thought that was wonderful. I stayed with her that night. And every time she moved, I would wake up. And she would be looking right at me. It's like she was checking on me to make sure that I was okay. And I was checking on her to make sure she was okay. 
just hard. She's my last aunt. And no matter what, I'm going to be there for her. Okay, guys, so if you guys know anybody with aphasia, will you guys just get in contact with me and maybe help me be able to communicate with her a little bit more? And I love you guys. Thank you for always being there. Peace out. Don't forget to smile and make someone else smile.